well, well, here we are back again. Got my got my shaving cadre shirt on. Um, <clears throat> it's funny. Um, you know, just got back after quite a uh, extensive trip. And I was thinking, well, I'm really looking forward to that first shave. I'll use this an amazing, heavy, efficient razor, beautiful soap. And then I was unpacking and totally forgot that I would gotten some shaving things on the trip. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be right to use those since I didn't use them on the trip? Uh, so, so for those of you that uh, <clears throat> may not have followed along, um, <clears throat> we were gone for almost two weeks, over two weeks. Um, and I did uh, all of my shaves with one shave sample. Um, where did... I think I put it away. I want to forget about it. This is my so I take on all of my shave stuff and uh, totally. Oh, here it is. Oh well, I showed it on the last video. Long rifle, brown bass. The entire trip was done with this. Um, and I thought, well, I'm gonna have to buy some more shave soap. Um, and I don't know what I was thinking. I was hoping I could get some, some local type things along the way. Um, but we weren't, you know, when you go on vacation, especially on excursions and stuff, you're really not in like, uh, the, the, the town centers where, you know, normal life happens. Usually, usually like a downtown where you've got big stores or a bunch of, uh, things for, the tourists um or off at you know destinations and things we're not like at the at the corner drugstore that might carry shaving things and stuff like that so i didn't really happen upon any except for in london where we purposefully went to a she was at the boots the boots drugstore it's kind of like our walgreens or something i guess um when i thought i might need some shave stuff and i got this wilkinson sword which is a known name right comes in a cool container uh, only costs what, like three dollars and fifty cents which i guess is the warning and then uh luckily Shan sam from the cadre kind of made made a comment that made me think better maybe of trying this on a shave when there's a lot of other variables or whatever um and i also found um the shavette wilkins and sword uh, shavette which again that just holds the blade so how bad could a shavette be but so i didn't try either one of these so i thought let's do it um so this thing i wish i already took it off it had a band around here that sealed the whole thing that you have to peel off to open it up and it doesn't even screw on it's just a pull and i thought it was going to be super hard but it's not it's pretty soft but it has a good scent um for three dollars and fifty cents i think it reminds me of PDP 63, Pre de Province 63, with cardboard mixed in. So it's got a nice scent, but you know, so lacking a little something. Um, and then this guy, I opened it up already, but I thought I would let you experience um, the beautiful cardboard packaging that this comes in. Um, but <clears throat> it's actually, so it comes with a, a tuck of. Wilkinson sword blades, of course, and then um, and this custom fit uh, packaging. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, I like the scales. It's pretty shiny. Uh, it says Wilkinson sword. I haven't even opened it yet. This is the first time I'm opening it. So it's either, so I think it takes probably a full DE blade. Let's see. It's got some instructions with it. Um, 30 shave with a 30 degree angle we're on step four so let's see carefully break now so it's half of a blade that we put in there so we can do that and then clean and dry the razor store in dry condition so this is no no water probably gonna rust on you so uh while this came with wilkinson sword blades i do bring wisdomets with me can you see through that it's kind of cool um on vacation the last two shaves i did were with uh the Rockwell 6S. What am I doing? I already took it. Why did I do that? I took it out of the paper already. I should have left it in here. Let's do. We don't need no bleeding on camera. Kind of out of practice and everything. 
there, broken in half. Take half of a blade. Um, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. I'm a little, a little still a little groggy. Taking today off of work. Um, just again to get that one day. A lot of times I don't do that. I, I used to really uh, protect my my PTO, and then I've been maxing out every year and getting to the point of losing time. So I thought, well, what the heck? I'll. All right. Well. The problem with it, when you break the blade in half is that it can slide down. It, it stops it from going up. I think we're okay there. There we go. We're loaded up. Um, so first concern is this has disappeared, just sitting in the bowl. Um, we'll do it. We'll do it. I'd probably add a little bit. It got to the point where it made the lather okay, um, but... Um, got to the point where you want to add a little bit more, it, get, it gets lathery, but it's kind of airy, and then you want to add a little bit more lather, or water, to make it nice and creamy and slick and all that stuff, but just that sense you have from doing it enough, I felt like if I did that, it was just going to fall apart, so I didn't, and we'll see, this looks... I don't know. Yes, this could use more water for slickness. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I think I, I was, before I was talking about my last two shaves were, look at, the weird thing is these are really, this is chonky. This is super, feels really beefy and thick with not, not in a good, I want a heavy, beefy razor, but not just because it's so big it feels weird it feels like a lego like you're holding a big old lego razor or something we'll see. oh all of a sudden it just hit me oh i not oh, the energy for you guys um i think my last two shades were de because the one we had to um is the getting off the boat day which it comes pretty early and they're um Gym is closed where I had been shaving. So I had to shower and shave in the room and just did a quickie to get going. And then same the next day when we were at a hotel, we stayed overnight in uh, Copenhagen before flying out in the morning. And uh, I'd already planned on doing a DE shave, but then uh, the little notice of the flight popped up um, on the phone. And they board a lot earlier than we're used to. And I saw the time and I'm like, we, we really gotta, we gotta get moving earlier than we thought. So I did a quickie two pass DE shave just to get up and going. This is, this is fine. This razor, like I said, all it does is hold a blade. So it's kind of, I would think hard to mess up a shave it too much. And uh, I think this soap is actually adequate. Either that or my skill is just amazing, you know. But, uh. <clears throat> Seems to be going all right. I'll take that um, the long rifle soap. I don't know if it was. Uh oh, a little nick there. Yep. The the water on board, or the the soap itself, but uh, it didn't have a lot of slickness. It created a fine lather, but uh, you know, as soon, as soon as you as soon as you shave, there's nothing left over to to cushion you to continue to clean up or anything. I don't know, Sam. For...
It's it could be that I've just been using a, a soap that's kind of not <clears throat> top tier for weeks that I'm used to it. Because I was going to say, this is not bad. For $3.30, this is not bad at all. I've used much worse soaps, I'll tell you that. Now, will I use it after I get back to using other stuff? I don't know, maybe, maybe just for the memories, but geez, for the price. They need a whole line of Wilkinson sword soaps. It is dissipating, that's for sure. I mean, this looks okay, but in the bowl, it's just like, it's like shrinking. Oh, what else? Yeah, boy, the, uh, it's interesting travel experience again. Um, they didn't check our passports. Like, my wife had to put in the information. In the app for Lufthansa. So we took Lufthansa from Copenhagen to <clears throat> Germany. Um, she had to put in our information to check in online, but in person, never once looked at the, the passport. It was just all. And I think you probably several of you were saying, well, it's because, um, I think it has to do with where we're flying and they must have a understanding within certain countries in Europe where just to make it easier to transit because once we got to Germany but we got to like terminal A and had to be at terminal Z and that was a hike and then we had to go through um, <clears throat> passport control at that point so even though we were already international in transit it was interesting the other thing with this soap is it's so kind of you can see the chunks and stuff um, and again, $3.30 soap, I guess. Yeah, this is, it's already, it's, it's past its prime. Do not use this soap if you're going to chit-chat away. And but <clears throat> Anyway, I would say the Lufthansa flight was interesting. I don't know if I've ever flown with them. It seemed like a new plane just for how um, clean it was and stuff. But the seats were spacious. It was just a little hopper, like one hour flight. And probably the most comfortable seats um, we've been in. In fact, just the way we got on the plane, I ended up in the middle seat. My wife was like, no, you can let's switch with you all that. You know, I'm a big dude. I'm like, no, it's just an hour flight, whatever. I was fine. Um, <clears throat> and then United for the, what, 10 and a half, 11 hour flight back here, whatever. Man, those seats were tiny. Ugh. Mercy. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We were glad that we got going out of the hotel early. Yesterday, because it was kind of a madhouse. And I tell you, you know, we traveled all over the place. And uh, I had a bottle of alcohol in my suitcase going and not coming back and stuff like that. And I took Copenhagen. We'd already checked in. So they use like an automatic bag service, which I think the lady was <laughs> happy with us because they still have like a helper, like a self checkout, right? But you go to a machine, you print off your tags, and then they have a machine where you put your suitcase on the machine and scan the tag yourself that you put on and uh, then it weighs it and measures it and so the girls put theirs through we, we and my daughter said we should put yours through first to make sure it's not too heavy and didn't think about it just got theirs through and she was right mine was over overweight my wife's was overweight we took some stuff out still over were those people right the, the suitcase luckily we had an extra bag like a like a cloth duffel bag or something uh, and we're able to offload enough stuff 
But uh, I, got, I just got the feeling that it seemed very country specific and we had no problems going there and then it was overweight coming back and it's like, and then you had, luckily the flights have plenty of bin space, but uh, you know, we don't get on, on late, but if you got the required check your carry on bag and you just have this open duffel bag. Anyway, and then, uh, you know, no TSA pre-check there or anything. So the security lines were fairly long and all that. But where's my, so there, there we go. Not, not bad, not bad at all. I, uh, tell you, I really like, uh, um, I think just, uh, I would use a slicker show soap, I think, with a shavette that uses a DE blade. There just seems to be a little bit more danger factor there with the corners and want a little more cushion and slickness. Um, got a little bit of alum sting, but uh, I'm not making too many judgments given that I still feel like I'm kind of operating on, on fumes and all of that. So what do we got? I don't even know. I don't think we've got a cadre call this Sunday because we had one that I already, I don't know. Man, that was, that was the best part of vacation when you're in the middle of it. So I don't know. I think one day Barbara, Dave, and I are going to talk about cruising and that kind of stuff as a topic. But uh, I'll say I'm all for longer cruises because it takes a few days just to get into the mindset of just like chillax and enjoy it um and it did get to the point where um and that's where i thought this is just awesome i had no clue what day it was of the week i really didn't remember which country we were going to and I'll, and that's that's just but it's like take me somewhere you know pamper me on the way and then uh when we're there let me know what we're doing and i'll enjoy it and that's the best you know what's second best? This stuff. What pa? This moment of pa brought to you by Brave Barber Shop. I assume it's still the sweetest barber shop in Tucson. We'll find out. We'll find out. I know uh, we're coming back with our show Monday. Monday. Drinks and Dave's. We might just chit chat. We haven't talked about it. I don't know. Maybe he's got a topic in mind. Maybe not. We don't need one. We just chill out. Anyway. <sighs> Nap time. See you on the forums.